So in case you're wondering why I haven't been pumping out as many videos as usual, it's because the beast has been here at the shop for about just over two weeks. It had a little warranty issue, not a big deal. Didn't want to tell you guys about it, but um, it's a really small thing. I don't want it to reflect poorly on Aprilia, but uh, I know I'm going to get a million questions on it. So what happened was there is a seal right here with a needle bearing underneath it. And the first day I got the bike, this seal was leaking oil. And I was like, that's kind of strange. Turned out this shaft right here was wobbling because there was no bearing put in there at the factory. Whoever was putting that case together that day was uh, sleeping on the job, but no love lost for Aprilia. Still love this bike more than anything. Still love the brand. Let's ride. Oh man, I have missed that sound. Oh, and it's even got the stock pipe on it right now because I don't like having the loud modified exhaust on here when I bring it in, just out of courtesy, you could say. Wow, man, they adjusted my clutch. It's terrible. It's like... Way too much replay. I like to have about that much replay before it engages. That's just me. Let her, let her warm up for a second. Oh God, can't breathe. I usually let my bike get up to, right now it's at 118 degrees, 120. I usually get up to about 150 before I ride it. As I'm sitting here sweating, screw it, let's go. Gotta get some breeze going. So what have I been up to while my bike's been in the shop? Well, I haven't been making videos, that's for sure. Just been busy, man. Uh, let's see, I had a birthday, which I don't really like celebrating my birthday. I mean, a lot of people think I look pretty young, but I'm actually quite a bit older than I look. But Miss Motopilot put together a nice little party at the house with close friends and some of my family and the kids, everybody's swimming and barbecuing. So uh, that was a good time. Then me and Miss Motopilot went to a, uh, a buddy of ours party. He calls it the, uh, what does he call it? Some pig. Now that thing was going off. It was like 160 people. They had a, roasting a pig. They had a big spread of chicken on the barbecue. They had trophies for all these games they were doing with kids eating cookies as fast as they could. Uh, they had like a wild bronco, whatever you call those things, bucking bull or whatever, a uh, live band, a dunk tank. It was pretty much going off. Check out my new gloves, man. I got these up at Laguna Seca for the World Superbike Race. Got a smoking deal on them. They match my vented Alpine Stars jacket. Piece of advice for you guys. It's hot right now, and if you're buying a vented jacket, don't buy black. It's just defeating the purpose. Buy white or a light color. This jacket here is basically white. Alpine Star jacket. I even have a silver helmet on. I don't even have a black helmet. So what else have I been up to? I just got back from an awesome four day trip to Laguna Seca for the World Superbike Race. Uh, me and a buddy basically rode back country all the way up to Monterey. Uh, we make it like a two day run, a day and a half. Awesome ride to this like no man's land, twisties and the street here. Oh, that was a great time, man. If you've never done the World Superbike at Laguna Seca, you think you gotta do it, dude. It's just, it's a great experience. And riding there from, uh, well, it depends on where you live, obviously, but riding there just makes the experience that much more awesome. The most fun is getting there and back. I forgot how good this thing sounds, even with the stock pipe. She's a beast. Laguna Seca, man. Oh, 
um, a lot of cool stuff. What I couldn't believe is I, the, the Groms that they had there, the, the trick stuff they're making for Groms these days. I mean, the, the accent building parts, dual exhaust, custom swing arm. I mean, it's like, you're gonna see a lot of girls in the pits. Uh, what was super cool was seeing um, Chaz Davies, Jonathan Ray, and I forget who the third guy was. The top three finishers of, of the racing on day one were in a golf cart and they cruised right next to me, man. I was like, I've only seen these guys on TV, so. That was a pretty cool experience. As usual, you always go to the Cannery Row, which is just lined with hundreds of bikes, thousands of people. It's just a, an awesome scene. And then uh, also the next day, we did something I'd never done before, is cruise, is it called Ryan's Wharf or something like that? That was pretty sweet too. So it was a great four day trip. But it feels good to come back and get my Aprilia back. I can start cranking out videos again. I got a bunch of ideas I gotta work on. Hopefully you'll see another video in the next two to three days. video ideas I have for you guys is to see how fast this bike will go in first gear. Uh, this thing redlines at 14,000 RPMs. That's that's insane. Most other bikes are more like 10 or 11. And this thing's got 10 to 20 horsepower more than most 1000s out there. So I think gearing's really tall too. So that means it goes really fast. And um, in every gear. Uh, I think I saw a guy the other day, he did 198 on his Aprilia. Pretty crazy. Johnny Law, eyeballing my bike, bike, making sure I'm legal. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for right now. I'm headed home. Catch you next video.